Hi everyone, my name is Rajeshekha. Welcome to my channel. This video is about new DMX features in Unreal Engine 5.3.1. Let's quickly get into that. And before that, people who are new to DMX in Unreal Engine and Campsys, you can check the playlist link which I'm putting in the description of this video. Watch the videos in order, get the ideas in older version and apply it to the latest one. I'm currently coming up with elaborate tutorial on this 5.3.1 as well. We'll be posting that sometime soon. Meanwhile, keep exploring my other tutorial videos. I also have DMX templates created for you of which some are free and some are paid. Do explore that and use it to your projects. So let's get started. So the first thing I notice is if you go DMX, you have the word control console. This we use it to test the patched DMX lights on set and click on edit project settings and all the way down to DMX. One change which I observe in input and output port is that you don't have extern universe art no longer. Instead, you have the term protocol universe remap. This by default, it's turned off. I mean, the tick mark is not there. So when you want to connect Unreal Engine to Campsys, you need this value to be zero. So put a tick mark on this one and then set it to zero for both input and output. And the IP address is zero and every other things remains the same A number of universes you want. So let's close this out. And one more major change is in the DMX library. Let's explore that. DMX library is up. This two tabs, they all remain the same and I've added all the lights and required modes for it. And let's go to patch. In fixture patch, what I'm seeing here is I have a new check mark, which is monitor DMX inputs, which we'll look into it a bit later uh, in the elaborate tutorial. And the moment you click on fixture, you have something like this, which is very useful. Earlier, what used to happen, we used to add uh, the fixture element and duplicate it and it keeps on duplicating. And if you want to move them around, you have to do it, you know, manually or using the numbers here. So let's proceed to patch, click on add fixture and select the lights. I want Sharpie and uh, nothing to change in mode. First universe and I want 10 numbers. Let's try this way. I want to patch all these uh, 10 Sharpies starting from address 340 in the first universe. So what you need to do is in the universe channel, universe 1 dot 340. 10 Sharpies will start getting patched from the 340th address of the first universe. Click on add fixture patches and you can see they all patched in the address we want. Let's see whether we can collectively move all the patches to any other address with all these selected. I'll move them around. Yes, it is happening. In 5.1 version, I noticed I was not able to move the patch collectively. It happened one by one, which was a time consuming process. Unsure about 5.2, but 3, yes, they allow you to move it collectively. Let's keep it on 300. For some reason, I want the Sharpies, all the Sharpies to go to the second universe in the same position. So with all the Sharpies selected here, let's change the universe to 2. And you can see they're all moving to address 300 exactly in the second universe. Let's say if you want some other value. So I want to go to third universe, but in third, I want to go on address 100. Let's try that. So with all these select again, third universe. And now it does say multiple value. What will happen is everything can get piled up um, on one another. That might happen. So let me choose 100 and as you, as you can see, yes, it does happen that way. So what you can do, you can manually select all the lights and move them and you'll have to do a manual work. So avoid uh, moving that way. So that's about the patching. I think they have made it much more easier and hoping to see a lot of features in the upcoming versions. So thank you Unreal Engine and the team. That's about this uh, video everyone. Quick tip on how the patching works in 5.3.1. Do stay tuned for the elaborate tutorial which I'm coming up on this version. Do check out my tutorials playlist if you're new and do check out the DMX templates we have created for you all people. So thank you for tuning in. See you all soon on another video. I'm Raj Shekhar. Bye. Take care.